Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Elgin Martinez from the Immigrant Edification Channel, coming to you with another informative video. The video this morning is going to be about a move that has been made by the Trump administration to denaturalize, that is to take away the citizenship of anyone who has been expected of committing certain crimes. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, it's just a reminder for a lot of my immigrant brother and sisters out there who feel that because they are citizens or have a green card in this country that they are immune from being deported. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm here to tell you that that's false. As long as you are not born in this country, you are subject to be deported from this country like anyone else. That being said, as long as you are immigrant, to this country, you are on, this, on the same scale like anyone else. What I'm going to do about now, ladies and gentlemen, is read an article from the New York Times, Washington. The Justice Department said Wednesday that it had created an official section in its immigration office to strip U.S. citizenship rights from naturalized immigrants a move that gives more heft to the Trump administration, to the Trump administration's broad effort to remove from the country immigrants who have committed crimes. The denaturalization section underscores the department's commitment to bring justice to terrorists, war criminals, sex offenders, and other fraudsters who illegally obtained naturalization. Joseph H. Hunt, the head of the Justice Department Civil Division, said in a statement. The denaturalization section will further the department's effort to pursue those who unlawfully obtain citizenship status and ensure that they are held accountable for their fraudulent conduct. Mr. Hunt said, the move promises to further expand a practice that was once used infrequently, but that the Trump administration has increasingly turned to as part of its immigration crackdown. It has raised alarms among some department lawyers who fear the naturalization lawsuits could be used against immigrants who have not committed serious crimes. Critics say that the administration desire to prioritize the naturalization underscores the idea that naturalized citizens have fewer rights than those born in the United States and that immigrants should not assume that they cannot be deported even if they go through the naturalization process. Take note, ladies and gentlemen. The new section will replace the team of immigrant of immigration lawyers who have been asked to focus on cases that revoke citizenship from those who have been convicted of terrorism, war crime, human rights violation, and sex offenses. The department has not announced who will lead the office, but several department officials and lawyers expected Timothy Belson, who had taken the lead on the department's denaturalization work, to assume that role. Mr. Belson helped to revoke the citizenship rights of a Yugoslavian-born convicted war, crime, war criminal who omitted from her naturalization application, the fact that she had executed unarmed civilians during the 1930s, 1990s Balkan conflict. The Justice Department under President Barack Obama also pursued the naturalization and it, and it targeted people who had lied on their application and committed other crimes. But denaturalization have ramped up under the Trump administration. 
Of the 228 denaturalization cases that the department has filed since 2008, about 40% of them were filed since 2017 according to official, official department numbers. And over the past three years, denaturalization cases referral to the department have increased 600%, ladies and gentlemen. From the earliest days of the Trump administration, officials including Stephen Miller, the White House aide who has driven much of President Trump's immigration policy, said denaturalization could be used as part of a broad pushback on immigration. Some Justice Department immigration lawyers have expressed worries that denaturalization could be broadly used to strip citizenship according to two lawyers who spoke on the condition of anonymity for fear of retribution. They cite the fact that the department can pursue the naturalization lawsuit against people who committed fraud, as it did against four people who lied about being related to become U.S. citizens. Fraud can be broadly defined and include small infractions like misstatements on the citizenship application. But a Justice Department official said the new section would prioritize people who have committed serious violation of law. When the department announced the new section, it cited successful denaturalization cases including a naturalized citizen who had recruited for Al-Qaeda Al in the United States and one who had sexually abused a seven-year-old family member. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of this video. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell.